What up, y'all? It's your boy BCD in the house, and you are tuned in to another episode of Good Life Cooking. What we're going to do today is a nice basil gimlet. And for the basil gimlet, I'd like to feature a gin, but more importantly, we're going to do a froth. And we're gonna make that froth with chickpea juice or aquafaba. If you're a raging vegan alcoholic, you're gonna love this. So for the gin, you can use any gin that tickles your fancy. What I love is the St. George's gin. I also, and this is dear to my heart, what I love is also the Juniper gin. This is a San Francisco based brewing company and it's super floral, love this stuff. And then you can also use Hendrix, which is a really popular gin. It's got some cucumber notes in it and it's really crisp and refreshing. All right, let's get started. So what you always want to remember with the gimlet is that it's two parts spirit, one part sour, and one part sweet. All right, so let's get our salad components going. So we're gonna take half a lemon, and we're gonna do half a lime. And the trick about these is when you're ever using a lemon squeezer or a lime squeezer, you can actually chop off the top part here We're going to plop it down in the squeezer this way. And voila, the seeds are caught on the squeezer. We're going to repeat and do the same with the lime. And that should give us about one full ounce of sour. Then what I like to do is get some agave going and I'm actually just going to use this OXO measuring cup to fill up to the quarter ounce mark of agave. So that should be enough sweetener for that. Then what I'd like to do is get a little bit of water in here and mix that. Fill up the remaining to the one ounce mark. And this is going to give us our full one ounce of sweetener. Next, let's go with the St. George today. We're going to give two ounces of spirit. And for the aquafaba, we're going to crack this can open, crack the can open. And we are going to strain out this juice. Now we only need about an ounce of this. So we're going to throw that in as well. I have my lovely basil plant here and it's so fresh. It's ridiculous. And I hate to chop these tops off, but we got to do it for the drink. So you want like a good handful of basil. we we'll just drop the leaves in. So for the ice, I like to just add in about six, six ice cubes, seven ice cubes, and we're going to just give it a real nice shake. We are ready for the frothy action of the basil gimlet. Then I'm going to take some lime and we're going to zest it right over the top. And I'm going to take one more little piece of basil like that. Now they say if you slap a basil, it'll actually bring out the fragrance to it. I've never actually understood the difference, but we're going to do it anyways for shits and giggles. Then I have my Scrappy's Bitter. I love this stuff because it balances out all the acidity and the alcohol and it just gives a good rounded flavor. You can get the whiff of lavender on your nose once you hit. So it just needs a couple of dabs and that's it. You have a frothy basil gimlet that has nose of lavender. It's got the froth from the chickpea juice, 100% vegan. So refreshing, super good. All right, y'all, I'm gonna link the recipe in the description box below. This is BCD on Good Life Cooking. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see y'all later. I'm out, peace. I'm gonna link the description. Fuck, I hate that phrase. 
I'm gonna link the description. Ah. All right, y'all, there you have it. I'm gonna link the subscription box below. All right, y'all, I'm gonna leave the description. All right, y'all, I'm gonna link the description. <laughs> it's so confusing. PCD with the description. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha